I survived 100 days in an ocean only world that means there will be no land, no trees, and no villages, and you are constantly in danger. I mean constantly, in danger. And when there is no resources you can get, you realize how hard this is. But without any more time let's get into the 100 days. Day 1 I loaded in and obviously there was water all around me. I noticed there was fish floating on the water so I picked it up knowing it would be hard to get food. Then I saw a shipwreck and I thought I was lucky because that would be the only way to get wood. I couldn't see much in it but there was a chest with iron and other materials that were in it. I got most of the wood inside the door so it wouldn't take ages mining it. I realized this place was surrounded by drowned zombies and sharks so I needed to get out quickly. I got out the ocean and tried to make a podium thing out of wood so I wouldn't constantly be swimming. I got all the remaining wood from the shipwreck so it was now night time but I got some floor down which I will make my base on. I crafted a crafting table so I could make some tools which will make things faster. I crafted wooden tools but didn't realize I had iron at the time. I made an iron sword because I would need to fight a lot of sea creatures in the future, so I need to be prepared. Also I forgot to say at the beginning but at the end of this video I will try to kill the mutant bee mosquito thing, I don't know how I will but keep watching to find out. The next day I gathered enough stone to make the bricks for the floor and I was creating the stairs for my house. But I still needed more stone so I went to the water cave under my base to get some more. About two days later I finished my house I walls and roof, I didn't have anything in it yet. The next day I found a chest under my base. There was a snapping turtle guarding it though that could easily kill me at this level. There was some leather obsidian and paper, quite random things I don't know what I need that for. When I got back up I crafted some books, that was the only thing I could use with that. I realized I was close to getting an enchanting table, that will help me against the boss. I made a room for the enchanting table it took me a lot of time to do it. Now I need one more diamond and I can get the enchanting table. I saw a random villager inside a boat next to my base, so I went to go get him. I got him on my base, but he didn't want to go on the floor he just stayed in the water. It took me ages to find diamonds, but I finally found one and crafted the enchanting table. The next day I enchanted all my weapons and tools. On day 50 I made another portal to see if I got a lucky spawn. I actually changed my mind I'm not going in the nether. On day 75 to 85 there was this bone serpent thing and I thought I would die by it but watch what happens. It was not that hard since it looks like an overpowered beast. Five days later I went outside and there was this weird sand tornado monster. These must be the warm up to the mega mutant mosquito. Well that was easy. Hopefully the end boss will be like that. Day 100 the day I tried kill the mutant overpowered mosquito. Will I defeat it and successfully beat this 100 days? Or will I die? I just heard it killed my villager. I need to get revenge. I died I did get to the end of the 100 days, but I didn't complete my main goal to kill the mutant mosquito. I failed. But see you next video.